Every now and then I come across a video or a tweet titled I was wrong about Bleach in which a person talks about how they might have been underestimating the series not appreciating it or changing from hating to loving it which is okay as long as it's a change of opinions that results from the change of perspectives This isn't something that only Bleach experiences but every other series do but it is undeniable that Bleach is known for it. How come a series that rivaled great titles such as Naruto and One Piece in sales, popularity and success can be this underappreciated and overhated? I have been a fan of Bleach since the first time I watched it and ever since then that never changed. It still is one of my all time favorite shows, having some of my favorite characters, music, designs and themes and I believe it does things better than the other two big names and also does things worse than them but so do they as well even if we accept that it has few weaknesses still why the hate? is it just a non mature way of competing from fans of other franchise or is it really bad to the level it should be hated? by the way this video is sponsored by absolutely nobody I'm not even monetized yet, so I haven't made a single dollar from making this content. So like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you already did then you're amazing and I appreciate you. Hating on Bleach is not a new thing, ever since the anime stopped back in 2012 and the controversial manga ending in 2016, Bleach as a franchise lost popularity, which is only natural. But even then, true fans never abandoned the hope that it will come back. And instead of peacefully admiring and hoping for something they love to be back, they were faced with ridicule and criticism. Something very weird and childish coming from people that are definitely not young. Are these I was wrong opinions just people trying to get on the hype train? Or are they just honest people who realize that they were wrong? and were swept by a hateful group. Either way, Bleach is officially back and I remember in late March 2020 how excited I got when I heard that. The pure joy that got me jumping from hype is alone a sign to how a series such as Bleach can have an impact on someone. Bleach is an amazing story with many well written and complex characters. It stands out by how stylish it is from designs to creative abilities and art style. It has all the qualities of a good shonen anime that alongside its relatable protagonist and modern setting immediately makes it stand out from something like Naruto. Bleach is really deep, while it might not be as dramatic as some series can get, it definitely has its way of making you feel the discomfort that the characters are put in. In my opinion, the characters of Bleach are overall the best out of the big three shows we all know and love. From major to minor, they all are some of the best written characters I've seen in all fiction. One of the major critiques of Bleach that people come up with is that the storyline is kind of repetitive, being that we saw the same structure of the arc in three different arcs. Ichigo saving Rukia, Ichigo saving Orihime, and Ichigo saving Soul Society. Well, just having similar initial structures doesn't mean that it will turn out the same or that it is bad. Even so, then One Piece would be an ultimate version of that. Multiple major arcs start out the same way. Luffy and the squad arrive to an island, but before so they meet a prince or princess who was concealing their identity and they become friends. Then they arrive to the island that is controlled by this evil organization led by a main boss that Luffy will send flying no matter what. Straw Hats get separate fights and Sanji, Zoro and Luffy will end up fighting the top 3 guys in the main villains group. This same structure was repeated 4 or 5 times already and even other arcs feature similar elements. But that doesn't mean that One Piece is bad, it's still a masterpiece and that repetition doesn't make it bad but the same doesn't seem to apply to the Bleach in the eyes of some of these haters. As long as the events make sense and are tied to the main theme and plotline, how they happen as long as it's well executed is not a problem. Naruto healing the trauma of the 10th evil guy with his speech 
is not a problem as long as it makes sense. Naruto's talk no jutsu only works on people Naruto relates to and people who can still change. If it was used against someone like Madara or Hidan, for example, it would be a bad choice. These are just the author's way of structuring how they want to convey a message and are not flaws. Which brings us to flaws. Bleach does have flaws, but so do One Piece and Naruto and every other manga and anime ever made, except for Berserk and Fate Zero and Monster. Other than these three, all stories are never perfect, and due to how we all are different, something cannot be just judged from an objective lens. Rather, everyone's experience, interpretation and enjoyment of a certain series is what makes that series valuable to them. For example, I enjoy anime like Technolize and Orgo Proxy, but you might find them slow, boring and complicated. And they are, but that doesn't make them bad. I personally have a very diverse taste and I enjoy a lot of different things, but there are still things I cannot sit down to watch. Every series has diehard fans and haters, some more than others like Bleach. And there is no way we can all love everything, but there is a way to not hate stuff, even though it's almost impossible to come true. If we all changed our perspective and thought about the author's passion and their sacrifice, all the troubles, stress and health issues they go through, if we all admit that we owe them absolutely nothing, that we are the one who pay in order to get what they do, if everyone respected others' opinions and never judged, then there would be no hate. But hey, that will never happen. The least you, the person watching this video now, can do is understand what I'm saying and if you are, then great. Just don't argue online, that's a waste of brain cells and time anyways. Enjoy whatever you deem worthy of your emotions. Look around, you'll definitely find someone who feels the same way. And you'll also face those who don't, but don't let that change your opinion. As long as you do enjoy something and love it, nothing matters. That's how great communities of amazing fans are out there. Like Bleach fans who endured 8 years but never gave up. This was an unusual short video I wanted to make to get some few points across. Tell me down below what you think about the matter and stay around for more amazing videos coming your way very soon. Many thanks for watching.